uh, Grace Randolph beyond the trailer. Hi, Grace. You're so high up. Uh, yes, very high. Yeah. I was just going to remark on your setup. You have the nicest Zoom setup I've ever seen from your background to your outfit. Oh, that's nice. You look Thank fantastic. You. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, you look very cinematic. <laughs> did you direct your own shot there? I, I definitely did not. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I have to say, speaking of directing, I was so impressed with how well you handled a blockbuster for it being your first one. Mm, what would you, you say helped you make the leap? Uh, I mean, a, a, a very supportive team. Um, I, I, I really felt supported from, from the top down, from Kevin, um, Kevin Feige down to Jonathan Schwartz, our producer but also every team member that we brought on um, some, a lot of whom were, were team, team members that I've worked on for multiple movies before. Um, but I, I've never worked with Bill Pope before. Um, Brad Allen, who did all of our action design, Sue Chan um, and, and Kim. I, I mean, everybody comes with such a wealth of knowledge and they were all so supportive. And it was, it was like I was going to, to film school with some of the, the most <laughs> profound um, instructors on the planet. Well, you're so modest, but I have to say other directors have come into Marvel and they haven't been as aggressive as you in terms of scope. Your movie's really big. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, it, it's pretty big. <laughs> 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 I mean, I, um, we, we knew we wanted it to be big. I mean, we, we wanted it to uh, be, be, um, and paying, paying homage to some of our, our favorite uh, martial arts films, the, the more, you know, the more grounded martial arts films, like from Jackie Chan's camp, but also some of the big fantastical spectacle um, wuxia type movies. And so it was uh, being able to, to work in that genre under the umbrella of the MCU was really exciting. I also was really impressed with how you were able to elevate the 10 rings into this incredible weapon. How did you and your team come up with how to use them uh, in such inventive ways? Like every time they were used, they, you've found a different way. And I was like, wow. <laughs> yeah, that was really fun. Um, we, we worked, you know, Chris Townsend, who's our, our VFX supervisor, who's been working on uh, movies with Marvel since the, the beginning of time um he's so fun to work with and so creative and we would you know we would sketch out a whole bunch of what ifs what if it did this what if it did that and then we'd actually be able to have an animator do it and show us what it could look like and some of the things that the rings were doing were bonkers and, and like kind of glad ridiculous. you kept it <laughs> kind of ridiculous <laughs> but then we we you know after after a while you start to hone in on on what feels right for for that for that weapon and and also something that would you know translate um to to the the longer journey of where the rings are going in the future also my final question is like black panther you have a lot of strong female supporting characters uh, what made you decide to have so many women in the world of Shan Chi? I have three sisters, um, and I I find so much strength um, and uh, support from my sisters, who are all, in my opinion, so much cooler and more <laughs> um, and stronger than I'll ever be, and I. And I feel like I just felt like that's what Shang Chi needed, you know. I and I and the 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 women around him like are mainly the ones who kick his ass, um, both physically, but uh, but also kick his ass into shape and get him to the place that he needs to be. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm. I'm I'm not exactly sure where where that comes from, except that I'm I'm always surrounded by strong women who who have pushed me to the place where I am. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations, and I can't wait to see your next blockbuster. 
Oh, thanks. 